Welcome at the screencast where I will show you how to create a very cool web application, real-time web application in Dart. So first of all, we're going to create a new web application and we are going to call it Dart Force To Do. And we will create a bin folder. We need to create a bin folder because we need to put a Dart file in it, server.dart. And here we will find our um, server-side code that we need to run. Okay. We also need to add the dependency of force. So in the pubspec channel, we'll add force. For the moment, I put any into it, but the best practice is to put uh, a real number of the library in it here, but we need to go quickly. So for the moment in this tutorial, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to import package force slash force underscore server side dot dark. I'm going to add main function because every Dart file that you want to start needs to have main function and then I'm going to create an instance of, for, of the force server. The force server itself, we're going to say where our client files are. So our client files, we found it in build slash web. And then we need to say what our start page is. So our start page is dart force to do dot html okay then we can say set up console log to have some logging it's always useful and then we can start our server before we can really start our server we need to build of course our client-side files. These are important because we said that our client-side files are in the bin, in the build folder. And Dart itself is now converting these Dart files to JavaScript files. And he also arranges some code and put them all into the build folder itself. This will take maybe a little while. So that's the reason why I'm talking a little bit about the build folder itself. Okay, let's see. We have here other files that we need. And now I'm going to run our server. Okay. And then when I open Chrome. And I go to local host eighty eighty. You see, we have here our Dart file up and running. But yeah, that's not cool, of course. What we want is we want to have a cool real-time Dart application. So we need to change our HTML a little bit. What we are going to add is an input field with ID of input and then with the value of to do we're also going to add a button ID button and type of button 
with the value of OK, we need to have a list where we will see all our to-do items in. And that's it. Okay, now we are going to change a little bit of the Dart client-side code. First of all, we need to um, select our button. When we click on our button, we need to broadcast. broadcast. Of course, we need to have an import of force of the force server side code. So we import force slash force underscore browser dot dart. And then uh, we are going to create an instance of force client. Force client, new force client. We can say one of the options that you can give with force client is use polling when you don't want to uh, use WebSockets or you say I only want to use uh, polling because, of course, when the browser doesn't support um, WebSockets, it will be falling back to the polling, but sometimes it's useful to just use polling itself. But moment we are not going to do that. We need to uh, add the connect function to say okay connect now to our server and then we need our input element. Input We're going to arrange our data that we're going to send to the server. To do. And then input not file. Force client dot send, and then we are going to send a message to our server data with our uh, no with we're going to send message add because we want to add a to to do a to do item. And what are we going to add? We're going to add data. Okay. If we want to see uh, or listen to data on the server, we can add our server side code for server.on where we listen to a request add. It will accept a force message event and sender. Then sender dot send will help us to send an update to all our clients with fma dot json. JSON is the data that we send it over. So you can access the data with force message event in here. And this will be it. And then in the client side code, here on the main, you can say, okay, when the force client has something coming in in the request of update, force media 
enforce message events and then sender we will uh, update the list so we will query list dot appends html And this will do the trick to append some HTML to our list when we get some updates from the server. Okay, this will be our basic to do application. Now let's test it. First of all, we need to build our application. I need to stop the server because we changed some server code. Now updating everything here. Okay, everything has been updated, so let's start the server again and let's see what we have now. Let's post to. Okay, great. We get our to do item there. So let's open a new window. Make a tutorial. Make a tutorial, and here you say make a tutorial. Is that not great? That's just fantastic. You can create real time web applications in Dart. Thank you for listening. Hopefully you will also uh, test the Dart framework a little bit and hopefully this will help you to uh, understand how to create it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.